Ciao amici! Today I'm going to step out of my comfort zone a little bit and try something that I've always wanted to try but have been a little scared to do. Um, have you ever seen those really cool 3D paper models? Yeah, they look like they take a lot of time and building stuff kind of makes me want to cry. But I found a new kit that I've been offered the opportunity to try out and I think it's going to make stuff so much easier. This wolf mask is going to look so cool, I think. It looks awesome. What I like about it is that everything has already been pre-scored, pre-cut, so all I have to do is pop it out and start building. Now the instructions say that you should punch everything out and then start folding and then glue it together, but I don't really like to follow the rules. So what I'm going to do, and what I think is going to make this work a little faster for me, is that I'm going to punch them out in order. So I'm going to take the one that has number one, pop that out, fold it, and then find numbers two and three, and just start building it as I go. And hopefully that will work for me. Wish me luck. All right, so the paper is pre-cut and pre-scored, so it was really easy to just pop the pieces out without any tearing. The paper has kind of like a, a plastic feel to it, but it's pliable and it's very easy to fold. Like I said, it was pre-scored, so it was easy to just make all these folds and get the paper going the way it needed to go. If there's a solid line, you fold it towards yourself. If there's a dotted line, you fold it away from yourself. I'm being a little slow here at first just because I was nervous and didn't want to screw up the lines, but it actually gets a lot faster as you get used to what you're doing. I've got the timer going on the right side just so I can keep track of how long everything's going to take me. This is what the inside of the mask looks like. You're going to see the numbers on the inside. Of course, that's not going to show on the other side. And you just find numbers, match them up, and glue the pieces together. I have paused my timer. I'm at an hour and 32 minutes. And I am more than halfway done. This is really, really cool. And I've been pleasantly surprised at how easy it is. I guess easy is not the right word, but it's a lot simpler to do than I thought it would be. It's actually almost dummy proof as far as the folding and the matching the numbers up. The glue dries incredibly fast, so that's not slowing me down. I'm gonna keep plugging away at this and I should be done hopefully within the next hour. All right, I am at two hours, 37 minutes. I still have seven pieces to go. And I've slowed down a bit because this is where there's a lot of really small pieces, some really tiny tabs here, and a lot of intricate detail work is happening. This is the mouth of the wolf. So I'm just taking my time making sure I get it right. I am gluing on my last little bit. I am right at three hours and still blown away by how cool this model is. All right, I think that glue has set. Let's take a look at this. I'm gonna stop my timer. Wow, it's just beautiful. So much detail. And actually there's one detail left to add the teeth. So just a few more pieces to go and I'll be done. The white paper that's used for the teeth doesn't have that kind of plastic feel that the black paper used for the mask has. So when you fold these, you want to make sure that your edges are really crisp, really fold down those lines tightly so that your teeth have nice pointy ends. I am gluing the last tooth on and then I can stop my timer and finally have fun trying out this cool mask. Let's do it that way. Done. Three hours, 15 minutes. 
Amazing. That is so cool. This paper mask is so awesome. I mean, look at it. I can even see through the eye holes so I could wear it as a costume. Want some costume ideas? Check this out.